Welcome to the Ultimate Sports Podcast Special Edition Series where I preview and predict the conferences and how they'll play out in the 2019-20 college basketball season. Now up is the Sun Belt. I'll do a projected order of finish. Player of the year, freshman of the year, coach of the year, coach on the hot seat, coach that could make a jump to a, a better school, and more. All right. In first place in the conference, I have the South Alabama Jaguars. 500 last year, 17 and 17, 8 and 10. In Sun Belt play, Richie Riley, year two on the job. Notable players coming back, Josh Ajayi, Teray Mitchell, and Don Coleman. In second place, I have the Georgia Southern Eagles, 21 and 12 last year, 12 and 6 in Sun Belt play. Mark Bington in year number seven on the job. Noble people coming back, Quan Jackson, Ike Smith, and Isaiah Crawley. In third place, I have the UT Arlington Mavericks, 17 and 16 last year, 12 and 6 in Sunbelt play. Chris Ogden, year two on the job. Noble player coming back, Brian Warren. In fourth place, I have the Georgia State Panthers, who made the tournament last year, 24 and 10. 13 and 5 in conference play. Ron Hunter left to go to Tulane. Their new coach is Rob Lehner, who will have Kane Williams and Kalik Brooks to work with. Brooks is obviously a newcomer, a freshman. In fifth place, I have the Coastal Carolina Chanticleers. Made the CBI a year ago. Cliff Ellis in year 13 on the job. 17 and 17 last year, 9 and 9. In Sunbelt play, notable player coming back, Devontae Jones. In sixth place, I have the Texas State Bobcats. Made the CIT last year, 24 and 10 last year, 12 and 6 in Sunbelt play. Danny Casper in year number 7 on the job. Notable player coming back, Nigel Pearson. In seventh place, I have the Louisiana Monroe Warhawks. Made the CIT a year ago, 16, or I'm sorry, 19 and 16 records, 9 and 9 in conference play. Keith Richard in year number 10 on the job. Michael Etrell and J.D. Williams are notable players on this team. In 8th place, I have the Louisiana Ragin' Cajuns. 19-13 last year, 10-8 and eight in Sunbelt play. Bob Marlin in year number 10. Notable player coming back, Cedric Russell. In ninth place, I have the Arkansas State Red Wolves. 13-19 last year, 7-11 in conference play. Mike Bellotto in... Year number three on the job. In 10th place, I have the Little Rock Trojans, 10 and 21. Last year, 5 and 13 in the Sun Belt. Daryl Walker, first year or second year on the job. It's just unfortunate with this program. They made the tournament under Chris Beard and he leaves for Texas Tech. And now this program is back in limbo. Number 11, I have the Appalachian State Mountaineers. 11 and 21 last year, 6 and 12 in Sunbelt play. Jim Fox was fired, and now they have a new head coach. Justin Forrest and Isaac Johnson return. And in the basement of the conference, I have the Troy Trojans. Phil Cunningham in year number seven. Or I'm sorry, no, he is now the associate guy in Western Kentucky. So Troy's a new head coach, too. That's my bad. Um, 12 and 18 on the year last year, and 5 and 13 in Sun Belt play. Brian Warren has the player of the year in the Sun Belt. He's from UT Arlington. He'll lead them to a top three finish in the conference. Freshman of the year, Kalik Brooks of Georgia State. That's a program that obviously um, has a new head coach. Um, Kalik Brooks was a Ron Hunter recruit, and I think that. Um, He'll be a good one for that program. And in the Coach of the Year, Richie Riley at South Alabama, I have them making the tournament as the auto bid winner of the Sun Belt. I think that Georgia Southern, UT Arlington could be CIT, and in CBI, Georgia State, and maybe Coastal Carolina. We'll see. And my coach on the hot seat is Cliff Ellis of Coastal Carolina. If they don't have another somewhat solid year, I think that he may get a pink slip at the end of the season. Um, a coach that I think can make a jump to brighter pastures could be um, Georgia Southern's coach. 
Mark Bington, he's done a great job there over the past few seasons. And I think that he has an opportunity to have a good season this year and make a jump if he chooses to do so. All right. Next up is the Whack. 